Hey guys, this is a demo of the bitwise quantize and delay ops for teletype that are in development. So what you're hearing right now is a uh, low pass gate being pinged and we have a quantized voltage running to uh, VCO going through that. So um, everything you're hearing is with the bitwise ops, both the um, quantizer and the delay. Right now we have a LFO running into the teletype input. Uh, it's just coming from stage uh, stages channel one. And the LFO is just slightly out of sync with the metronome I have running on teletype. So that gives it kind of this sense that you're walking down a uh, chord progression. Uh, it's a lie, I don't know any music theory. So um, here's what it sounds like, like without the quantize. So, uh, our QTB op is basically accepting three arguments. We've got um, an input, a root, and the scale mask. And that's all going to be in terms of semitones. So, which semitones in a scale that you want um, active. So, um, the input is our uh, voltage, which has been converted to a note number here using the new uh, VN helper, which is basically just the, the note lookup, but in reverse. And we have root set to zero, and variable A is storing our um, scale mask. Sorry here, I'm trying to focus a little better. So uh, if you think about those scale masks, um, you're basically talking about having bits active that correspond to like keys on a keyboard. So if you were to look at um, your keyboard and let's pretend that your root is C, um, C is going to be bit zero. So if your C is a one, then um, that key is part of the scale that it'll quantize to. So let's go ahead and set A just equal to one, which is just having the first bit on. So now it's only going to quantize to um, just C. So if I wanted to turn on uh, another note, let's just come up and do bit notes. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's just do, um, let's just do a uh, third there, a major third. So that was 0, 1, 2, 3, fourth bit. I could come and I could say A is, um, oops again, A is A, but we're going to set bit 4. Now we have C and E, C and our root, and a major third up from there. So you know you can you can go along and you can make whatever weird scales or chords you want here. But um, uh, I was using, I believe, the Aeolian scale, garlic Aeolian scale, uh, which is 1709. So um, and you can you know after you do all your bitwise manipulations, you can always check the result and. Write it down somewhere if you like it. So let's talk about the rhythm. In our metro here, I am calling uh, delay.b. And that takes two arguments. It takes a time interval, and um, the second argument is the bit mask. And this is basically a lot like the scale mask. It's just saying which um, which multiples of your time interval do you want active on the delay? So it can do up to 16 um, taps, essentially, on the delay. And if you set the very lowest bit to one, you're going to um, you're going to get that event immediately. And your highest bit, 16, will basically be 15 time intervals later. Um, so what I have is um, a pattern where my bit mask is in the first column and the second column is divisions of my metro. So I can change this to use eighth notes instead of sixths. Change my bit mask here. And, um, you know, this is all fun to manipulate using those bitwise. 
Rise Ops. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys find some utility for these operations and uh, let me know how you're using them. Bye.